Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin, just off Main Street. Deep into the North Woods, where Wisconsin's border meets Michigan's Upper Peninsula, is Florence County. Florence County is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful, wild, undisturbed nature at its finest. And as the residents here will tell you, there is not a single stoplight in the entire county. Between the lakes, rivers, forests, and miles of trails, there are recreational opportunities all year long. If you, if you don't have something to do in the winter, it's a long year. <laughs> We've got about 150 miles of trail. And we, we connect with all the other counties, and we connect with Michigan. We can go just about anywhere. We, take pride in our trails and how we take care of them. They always say we're smoother than the roads in Florence County. Florence County is also home to Kai's Peak Recreation Area. And every year they have an event called Winterfest, which offers families a full day of skiing, snowboarding, tubing, and tons of other fun winter activities. Winterfest is definitely geared towards families. It's a real low-cost way to give your kids a chance to try skiing, try snowboarding, get out in tube. We've got different types of slopes. There's a beginner slope to learn on. We've got intermediate slopes, and we've got double diamonds. We've got some extra kids' activities down at the bottom of the hill, some little competitions with snowball launchers and human bowling. And we actually have the disc golf folks here today to give you tips on how to disc golf. About 50% of the land in Florence County is publicly owned, and it's home to nearly 200 miles of UTV and ATV trails. I have no UTV experience, um, but it was so cool to be right out there on the trail, um, actually really relaxing and tranquil, which is the opposite of what you would think it would be. It's a ATV, UTV paradise, what it amounts to. It's just a wonderful place to be. It is, it really is. And um, we had some fun out on the trails. Yes, yes. <laughs> so what is your favorite part about riding, riding the trails? It's just the openness and the freedom you get. Absolutely, you're getting nature, you're getting great scenery and, and fresh air. Yes, oh, definitely. When it comes to Florence County's trails, those on the water are equally as spectacular, giving a glimpse into Wisconsin's more remote and rugged river systems. The Pine and Papa River are the state's original wild rivers. What does that mean to be a wild river? Can you explain that a little bit? Well, it means that it's untouched, it's, it's undeveloped. Uh, you can experience the wildness of the river that, that it had in the past and has brought forward and it exists now. There's no other protection quite like it in the state or in the nation. We did some canoeing around the Pine River Oxbow, which is really neat because the Oxbow means that the river circles around and meets itself again. So it's the perfect uh, relaxing canoeing experience. The current just kind of takes you. You could do a little paddling or you can just take in the scenery around you. Eventually, the rivers cascade, tumble, and roar down seven breathtaking waterfalls all of which are accessible by land. There are amazing places where the water flows over the rock. It's what draws us to rivers. When we get there and we, we're excited and we're a little afraid of them. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And they stimulate so much sort of those intrinsic values of wildness that these rivers have. Between the rapids and the untouched wilderness, I've never seen anything or experienced anything like this in Wisconsin. It feels like you're a world away, but it's actually right in your backyard. Head to discoverwisconsin.com to download free itineraries for the four communities featured in this episode. When we come back, I'm visiting a college town with access to a gorgeous stretch of the Ice Age Trail. Stay tuned. <laughs> 